Despite the fact that the series on Skibbity Toilets has existed for more than a year, many people have not understood it and continue to call it a childish retarded series, which somehow negatively affects all living beings who will ever see it. In this video, I will try to prove to you that it is not so, and then you will write in the comments whether your opinion about it has changed or not. But in any case, like, subscribe, Twitch, YouTube. I think if you clicked on this video, then you are already a little familiar with this animated series, or at least some episodes have fallen to you in the recommendations. And if you are more than 18 years old, have you ever wondered why it is in your recommendations? No? Maybe because the show isn't for kids? 1-0 in favor of the series would say, if I were 0 years old and I would actually cite this case in the piggy bank of evidence that this internet series is more for adult audiences. Of course not, because YouTube recommendations are like a separate science, which can be understood only by a select few. In fact, I understand why this animated series is more attributed to children's. First of all, it's its name. It doesn't sound as epic and plus in the title there is the word toilet, because of what people automatically filter it as something that is is rather connected with shit, but you know what they say in Russia, judging by the cover, and see off by the mind. And this expression is 100% suitable for this internet series. New viewers have two choices. The first is to meet a new episode on the clothes and immediately equate this video with childish crap, which is often already stuck on the tab in the trend, or the second option, people click on the video and see that inside they are waiting for quite an interesting story that happens to the characters for a few minutes. And with a probability of 90% new viewer will watch this video to the end and may even want to see what happens next. I mean, you know, right? Those people who to this day claim that Skibbity Toilet is childish fecal content most likely have not even watched a few episodes, and are already expressing their media expert opinion. Do not claim that this internet series should like everyone and everyone, because each person is different, he has his own interests and tastes for different content, but if this series is a real crap, would it then become so popular and would have gained Mr. Boom so many subscribers, if he continued to produce the usual meme animation on different games? Probably not. Back to the title, okay. You don't like it, but then as they say criticize, suggest. How then in your opinion should we call this internet series in two or three words? Maybe Inoplanet Attorney or Operator Wars? Agree, if it would be called as I voiced earlier, then you would have 100% scrolled through this video, and hear Skibbity Toilets, what? What is that? Yeah, yeah, the name itself is interesting, isn't it? Although it is possible that it could really be called something intriguing and more adequate, but I did not think of it, and if you have ideas, the comments are open, so go ahead. Well, we've decided on the title. Now we should talk about the plot. In fact, the first 10 to 20 episodes were really made by Raffle and memes, but then began a real, interesting plot. So many people began to follow it, and some people, like me, began to analyze the new episodes and the whole series in order to understand what the author is trying to say to the audience, what meaning he is trying to convey to us and what will happen next. Yes, for those who do not know, I actually have a fairly popular English language channel on the topic of analysis of the series Skibbity Toilet and yes, I am familiar with Mr. Boom, now live as you want with this information. I've been following this series for over a year now and so far I haven't had a single new episode that I found boring or predictable. In fact, although many people are making theories about what will happen next, and only 5% of 100 coincide with what the YouTubers predicted. Cause the plot is really unpredictable and very interesting. For example, let me show you an excerpt of one episode, and you try to guess what will happen now. And yes, I will explain it to you in a more understandable way, that is, I will not tell you what each character's name is, but I will just say what a new viewer might call them. Here's a big toilet with a G-man's head on it. It's surrounded by three big robots and what do you think happens next? Uh, see, you guessed it, there's actually going to be a brutal battle of toilet versus robots, and who do you think will win the battle? I'll give you 5 seconds to decide the next outcome. Well, probably 70% of you probably said that this big toilet will probably lose the battle, because it's one big toilet and the big robots are three, and in fact, you're almost there. Even though this big toilet fought very well, even though it has no arms or legs, its opponents literally have the advantage in numbers, but suddenly this happens. Yes, at just the right moment, the big toilet's helpers show up and help him out of a seemingly lost battle. Okay, if you think that was predictable, then here's another moment that I personally found surprising. Another battle, this time between two big robots and a big toilet with the head of a G-man. Who do you think will win this battle? 
Again, I'll give you 5 seconds to think about it. This time the robots were able to defeat the big toilet, but when it came time to look at the charred head of the defeated opponent, it turned out that it was his fake and it was all an elaborate plan on the part of the opponent, as a result of which the two big robots were subjected to a serious big attack and were almost destroyed. And probably you think that in this animated series just cannot be that the toilets and robots united and work together, because how can they do it, if during the entire plot they are always at war with each other. And it turns out they can. Yes, in the latest episode some robots have united with the toilets and now work together, but some of them still have the same opinion and don't want to go to the union, even for a temporary one, but time will tell, who knows, maybe they will find a common language. And if you were wondering what could happen if robots started to unite with toilets, then look for yourself, I have no time to tell the whole story, and if you are still in the same opinion that were, then let me now briefly tell you the plot of a popular movie, and you say whether you would watch it or not. Civilians come to the civilians, they need what the civilians have, and they naturally do not want to obey them and then the aliens decide to take away by force what they need, then a real war of survival begins, the inhabitants begin to unite with other nations and go on the attack to defend their home and in the process of the plot one of the aliens takes the side of the inhabitants and as a result he becomes one of them. What movie plot do you think I just retold? Well, I'll keep it a secret, but if you guess it in the comments, I'll answer you. But I will say this, it's a pretty popular movie and 90% of everyone who will watch this video has seen this movie. And also during my very brief retelling I inserted video clips from Skibbity Toilet, in which exactly the same thing happens as in the movie. Except that the movie is praised by many people and they are looking forward to the sequel, and Skibbity Toilet for some reason is hated, although in them the plot is even deeper and full of secrets, because of which it continues to be watched by tens of millions of people around the world, and also Michael Bay himself. The film director of such movies as Transformers will take on a series and a full-length movie based on the show Skibbity Toilet. And if you know of similar examples where a popular filmmaker has taken on an internet series that is being created by literally a couple people, write me about it in the comments and I'd love to read them. And also in general, tell me your opinion about Skibbity Toilet and whether it has changed after watching my video, and if you want to discuss future episodes with me live, then subscribe to my Twitch, because I broadcast quite often.